All right. We got top 10 best Chinese anime you must watch. You guys know I've been, I've been reacting to a lot of Japanese anime, a lot of them, but not the Chinese one. Matter of fact, someone in the comments, I think it was the last reaction on... I don't remember the title of the video, but it was an anime, uh, anime video, pretty much. And someone said, asked me to watch one of those Chinese anime. But I, I actually look, I was actually looking for it on YouTube. I searched it and everything, but I just didn't see it. All the clips were about, all the clips were like three minutes, for like three minutes, bro. Hold on, I need, let me, let me check what was the name again of that anime. Of that anime. If I remember well, the name was, hold up, yeah, Fog Ale of Five Elements. You see, he told me it was one of the best, one of the best. So obviously, maybe it's probably here, it's probably in there, so we'll see. But if not, I'm probably going to have to search for it. I might as well just watch the whole fucking episode one, I guess. I'm just going to do this. Japan may be the country that introduced anime, but that doesn't mean all good anime come from it. In recent years, there has been a clear uprising in oh, Chinese this one's anime a good one. in terms of both story the manga, and quality. Bro. So I decided to bring 10 of the best Chinese <coughs> anime out there. As usual, we plan on bringing more videos in the future, so don't forget to stay tuned by hitting the subscribe button along with the bell notification icon. With Whoa, that said, some pretty let's good animation. see what these 10 anime are. Number 10, My Cultivator Girlfriend. <laughs> if you're a fan of reading web novels or webtoons, then you should be aware of the emergence of the cultivation niche. Here, we move on to a modern cultivation world where a rule known as the law of the jungle makes everyone's lives insecure. After saving mm. a cultivator girl, the security guard Ma Yingzhong accidentally starts the journey of practicing cultivation. If you have read works of a similar niche, then you know how this is going to go. There is the concept of leveling up and gradually gaining strength. The characters have backstories that shape their personalities, and if you are a fan of power fantasy, you're definitely going to love this. Ma Yingzhong is the man we need to talk about here. He may look like a generic protagonist, but that's the last thing you would think after watching look quick. this anime. Yeah, I did. I already Number watched nine, it. You ain't gonna lie, I already watched it. No cap. Oh, you see me familiar? I watched this one too. It's pretty good. Let's move along the cultivation route to another anime that follows the. I like the manga concept. more, but here we have Wang Ling, a cultivation genius who has Strongest achieved man a heart. new realm every two years since he was a year old. But every overpowered guy has their troublesome phase. Now he needs to attend senior high school, where more troubles await him. All Wang wants is to keep his head low and face fewer challenges. But soon. His desired lifestyle gets changed as he meets more and more challenges. When it comes to the cultivation niche, the daily life of a mortal king stays true to its genre and the concept of the premise and manages to deliver a unique show with a rather overpowered protagonist. Number 8. Quan Zhi You have two choices. You can either choose to be educated or you can choose to be brainwashed. But here's the problem. Fa Zhi Packed with My boy got like six elements, bro. This is cheat series. code. This anime is about Mo Fan, who finds himself in a universe similar to his, where magic has replaced science. I ain't gonna like a lot of the stuff so in the manga, bro. It was too long, bro. I had to give up, bro. Like, come on, bro. And he got boring as well, so, you know. But Mo is born as a son of a laborer. It's just wait. This is like, bro, there's like thousands of, of fucking chapters, bro. Others label him as weak. And not only this thousand of chapter is not even as good as solo leveling, but he's like way worse. Not even abilities. close, actually. He can harness several elements at once and can leave everyone's mouth gawked. Now moved from weak to dangerous, Mo needs to learn. But I would to say this the world, from chapter well one to like 500 is pretty nice, him. pretty In cool. Short, but after that, just Z get out of hand. Is a very enjoyable short magic anime with a strong and determined hero who wants to change the lives of him and those around him. Number 7, Spirit Pact. 
ところに陽明寺が現れるなんてお前の運が悪かったぞ安心して消えさ Let's move on to China because Japan isn't the only country that can produce anime that can pack a punch Spirit Pact is about <coughs> Yuki Keika After an accident Yu wakes up to discover that he has turned into a spirit A man named Tanomoko Ki explains that he is an exorcist and in return for protecting him from humans you should lend his strength to Tanamoku while dealing with other spirits. The anime follows their adventures and takes a deep dive into the supernatural as well as the superpower genre. The action is fast paced and has the ability to keep you in suspense. And the story knows how to combine comedy as well as romance to its I mean, the most real Chinese anime is actually comedy if you think about it. Number 6 Whoa. Fox Spirit Matchmaker. Hmm. <laughs> Who said Japanese anime is the only thing that can excel at the MOA genre with Fox Girls and Bunny Girls? Fox Spirit Matchmaker is a Chinese anime that shows China can produce its own unique kawaii animation. Here we have Bai Yoshu, who meets the fox girl Tushan Susu. Now unknown to them, they have the previous mysteries of their life affecting them. And while helping the princes of their nation against their own threats, the two slowly form an emotional bond over each other. Fox Spirit Matchmaker is a cute love story that you should watch, and if you love fox girls from Japan, then Fox Girls from China will be no different. Number 5. Hey Bai Wu Shang. You look like Tokyo Ghoul, bro. If the name isn't anime like, then that's because the show actually springs from a Chinese background. Hey Bai Wu Shang tells the story of two young demons who work at an organization that balances the worlds of the living and the dead by killing humans. Apart from having a unique premise and setting, Hey Bai Wu Shang also features some great action and battle scenes. It is one of those underrated anime that pass under everyone's radar and plays the demons versus humans really well. Not only do you get the regular good versus evil and moral play, but you also get a charismatic duo that can grip your attention whenever they're on screen. It's an anime Whoa. that can keep you hooked through its 12 episodes. I need 12. Number 4, The King's Avatar. Oh, that's really good. Really fucking good. Next up, let's see how China adapts gaming elements in their stories. If you love gaming, then you have Izekai in Japan. But in China, they have King's Avatar. Damn, I'm surprised, the bro, King's actually. Avatar follows the I actually did of watch Yezhu, a couple of a Chinese anime. A esports player living in Anju, China. In the King's Avatar, the main character is already a popular esports player, but once the team decides to use him for underhand marketing purposes, he decides to leave for good. Now working as a clerk, he meets one of his fans and with his encouragement, starts building up his character once again. Yezhu was a legend and this is how he becomes a legend again. If you need a sports anime that dives into the esports category, plus has a main character who was a legend, then here's the show for you. Number 3 Voice of Fox. Mm. Yes, here comes another Chinese anime with the word fox in it. But sorry to disappoint you, this anime isn't about cute fox girls. Here we have Hu Li, a poor but talented high school boy. He is a ghost singer and songwriter for a popular singer and wears a fox mask to cover his face. Now, like much Chinese anime, Why? this one doesn't have any spiritual battles or mind-blowing fight scenes, but what this delivers is an emotional story about a boy and the inner turmoil he suffers. If you need a Chinese anime that closely relates to the slice-of-life genre, then this is the anime for you. Number 2. Hitori no Keep your head up. Sportsnet, here for hockey. Noshita. <laughs> Japan isn't the only country that can make a great anime series that can pack a punch. Case in point, Hitori Noshita or The <coughs> Outcast. One trip to the graveyard is enough to change your life. 
This happens to choose Those are not the best Chinese anime, right? I ain't gonna cap, bro. I've seen one that is not this late that is actually pretty fucking sick. Zombies. But that was better than all of those, really but I, I don't remember the name. But it was a martial art or something. And Chu soon learns about a martial arts technique named Kitai again. Chu soon finds yeah, a connection what? between oh this mystery. Oh my gosh, bro. That's, actually, that's literally what I'm talking about. Yo, nah, that's crazy. That's literally the one, the anime that I'm literally talking about. And I was actually, oh my gosh, bro. I'm so, I look so stupid now, bro. To get attacked by a horde of zombies. Yeah, this is fucking good. This one is good, but that's the beginning, though. That's why I got confused because this is like first season, and the first season is way older and everything, and it's OP. Okay, but yeah, I see. But nah, this is sick. I need to watch zombies, it again. And Shu soon that's learns fucking about sick. A martial arts technique named Kitai again. Cho soon finds a connection between this mysterious new martial arts that is and a his fucking sick anime, bro. I really recommend it. Into an adventure he never asked for. Hitori Noshita has some cool fight scenes as well as some well animated hand to hand combat. Animation scenes. is really good. The story is quick paced and definitely something to add to your overpowered anime character watch list. Number 1 Fog Hill of Five Ooh, Elements. Never before have I seen a Chinese anime that can even surpass the works of Studio Ufotable. Fog Hill of Five Elements, Ooh. also titled Wu Shan Wu Jing, tells a story that is a combination of action, suspense, and superpowers. This happens in a world where monsters could give the ability to certain elected officials to master the five elements. But there is a catch. To do this, they need to pass the Fog Hills. A hill that has dangerous threats lurking within it. In this anime, we follow the adventures of one of these elected officials as he crosses the Fog Mountain. The series has got some astounding animation, plus some great Wait, what's the main character? To him? Complement the powers. So, like I always say, if you haven't watched it, then now would be the perfect time to add this to your watch list. Damn, what's the second person saying that? Maybe I should watch it. So watch there it. goes 10 of the best Chinese anime out there. just a couple seconds of them talking about it, titles, since these anime I'm gonna have to find a clip talking for like 10 minutes just about that. Damn. It looks good, though. Definitely gonna watch it.